What's going on, everybody? Terminator Juice here. I'm gonna do a little gameplay commentary uh, over the wonderful 101 demo. Downloaded it. Really like this game. Um, and before I get started, this is uh, captured with my Sony CyberShot camera off screen, set up on a tripod. So that's why you're seeing reflections um, in the left and right of the screen. So this is the wonderful 101 demo downloaded on my Wii U about a week, week and a half ago. I'm really enjoying this. And uh, surprised to see reviews hitting already. The game don't come out till September 15th. But there's already uh, quite a few reviews out there. Um, ranging from a 9.5 was the highest to a 6.0 as the lowest. And... Uh, just kind of really surprising. I mean, yeah, there's some games out there you either love it or you hate it, but it's just uh, it's one of those things like with Zombie U, I'm afraid the uh, these low reviews are going to scare people away. But my advice to you, if you're a Wii U owner and you're on the fence, download the damn demo. I mean, what else can you say? The freaking it's free. Takes like a half hour to download and you can play it up to 20 different sessions. But if you keep playing, you can play it over and over for hours on end. It's uh, um, basically only limited to when you back out and get back in. But as you can see, um, I'm playing the mission mode here and I'm doing the different uh, Unite powers. Everything I've had to do, and I'm granted this is a demo, it doesn't have all the power ups and stuff. I have no problems drawing anything. I have no problems with the controls. Um, the right trigger makes you do the spring away technique. The left trigger makes you that blob that's like a, a shield that um, takes their attacks and throws it back at them. But anyway, I want to talk more about this video is more just to talk about the reviews for this game. Yeah, I haven't played the full retail version. And I can't really comment on anything other than this demo, but I can say for one... This game is really fun, it's challenging, it's unique, and it's original, and which is unique and original are the same basically, but um, don't listen to reviews. If you like action games, if you like games with uh, good you know, art style and just fun to play, then this is a great game. The people that are complaining about the controls are from the reviews I read they just seem very um, un intolerant to learning uh, they complain about there's no real great tutorial but most people know you you hate tutorials and right there you've seen that I, uh, I turned in the hammer no problems I drew it quickly and it no problems whatsoever so if you like action games like I said and don't even be turned off even if you don't like like CG animation style graphics I mean this game is really fun download the demo like I said if you're on the fence about getting a Wii U and this game could be the one that turns you um, it's very unique you can't play this game on any other system and be enjoyable like if I had to use just the analog stick to do all most of these shapes um, I wouldn't want to play this game it takes advantage of the gamepad it works quickly, draws the shapes you want, as long as you draw the right shape and you hit A fast enough, you get the shape you want. So, to people out there that are reviewing this game, I don't understand why IGN Italy gives it a 9.5 and IGN, the American, even though it was a British girl reviewing it, gave it a 7.4. That's a two point difference. Obviously it's a personal opinion, but if you're a professional reviewer, you should uh, be able to appreciate a good game, whether you particularly like everything about it or not. You should at least acknowledge what's there. Fans of that, you know, style of game. If you like crazy action games, if you like Platinum's other games, Beautiful Joe, um, Bayonetta, you like this game. I mean, I'm not here to say that certain reviews are completely wrong because I haven't played the game but you just gotta look at the reviews as a guideline don't let it make the decision for you just like Zombie U that got 6.5 by GameStop or GameSpot 
and I decided not to buy it based on that review. I rented it, and I really love the game. Uh, I have a friend that just picked up a Wii U. He's got the Zombie U bundle. He thinks it's an amazing game. I mean, yeah, it's not perfect technically, but it's fun, and it's scary, and it offers um, something unique with the gamepad and the Wii U. So this game right here, I'm not sure if it's going to be 50 or $60, but just the demo, I played it three or four times um, from start to finish on the, on the story, and then I played the mission mode over and over. As you'll see, this is what this is. You'll see what score I get. I liked the first few times I got silver, and then this time I got gold. And it was pretty damn rewarding. So, um, yeah, just getting back to what I've been saying. I mean, this game looks beautiful. Anyone says any different, they're just being way too critical, or they just want to hate the game because it's different than, than what they're used to. I mean, yeah, this... Compare this to The Last of Us, this isn't going for realism, but it's cleaner, it's brighter, it looks, um, it runs at a faster frame rate, it just looks like a, a better looking game just on the standards of, of clean, sharp visuals and high frame rate. Yeah, The Last of Us looks more real and gritty and has great graphics, but this game in its own way I would say has equal if not better. Um, better type graphics because frame rate is important a game like this frame rate is very important to an action game you don't want it slowing down you don't want to be chugging along I mean look how and this is on a YouTube video so obviously you're not going to see it in 60 frames but um, I've seen comments on GameSpot's review of this game they gave it an 8 which is a good score for them there was a guy complaining that this isn't next gen graphics and he's judging it from a streaming internet video that runs at 30 frames a second. And he was already decided that the graphics were, were not next gen, they weren't good. I've played this game, I've seen it on a 60 inch 1080p plasma. This game looks beautiful and it plays beautiful. I don't know what else, what else do you need? I mean, it's responsive and the controls, the touch screen, everything works good. So... For those of you that don't have a Wii U and you were looking at this game as a possible, possibly a reason, don't let some low reviews. Look at the, high, the higher end reviews and see what they like about the game. And then look at the low reviews and see what they don't like about the game. And just take it as a guideline. If, you, if they say you don't, they don't like something and it's something that turns you off about games, then yeah, stay away. But basically I just want to say... After playing this game, it's a really great game, and after playing the demo, I'm definitely going to buy this game. It's a really fun, unique, and just, I don't know, it's just nothing uh, nothing like it right now, even though Pikmin 3 just came out. This is nothing like Pikmin, other than you have a, a big group of people, but it plays nothing like Pikmin, and it's, uh, it's just something, it's an exclusive title, and I think um, some people... You know, they've been clamoring for new IPs, new IPs. We get a new IP, and then it might be too different for uh, for some people. So, you know, it's just one of those things where you can't please everybody. It's a new IP, it's unique, and it basically would be not very enjoyable playing on a standard controller. So this right here is the reason... Um, games like this that the Wii U gamepad is worth having and the Wii U is worth owning and uh, that's all I got to say you know like just uh, try it for yourself if you're like me and you like action games I love uh, Pixar animation style um, movies and stuff so this game's right up my alley and uh, I'm gonna go out and pick it up day one purchase for me September 15th I'm going to go to the nearest store that I can, and I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to enjoy the hell out of it, and who cares if uh, IGN gave it a low review, because I know I don't, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please uh, feel free to leave me any comments or anything, what you guys think of the game, any questions about it, if you, uh, if you don't own this, obviously if you don't have a Wii U, you can't get the demo, but... Uh, yeah, that's it for this video, and uh, we'll check you guys later.